Hurry up, old man! I'm an animal! He's crazy. They're, they're, they're gonna hit me. They're gonna hit me! <laughs> Run. Who was the last person to have a beard? Artemis and Falkmore. You made that up, right? Yeah. But it sounds like a president name, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> George with his Robert fake names. Are you wearing lips in those shoes? <laughs> yeah. Feeling short? Uh. I can't believe this is our first date. I know. How about dessert? I suppose I have to get a piece of cake. Why? Today's my birthday. What? Today? Really? Yeah. Happy birthday! Isn't she the girl that played Marsha? On the, on the movie? Later. Is she socially awkward? <laughs> no, she's great. I gotta go down to the foundation. I'm interviewing high schoolers for the Susan Ross Scholarship. This organization nope. is beating the bushes nope. to basically give this money away to no. virtually anyone as long as they're not you. Yep. Fine with it. Fine, I say. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't drink when I watch this. <laughs> Quick, what's your favorite animal? Frog? Frog? I would have said a dog. Oh, I, I cat. The frog is wrong. I see here that you play the harp. Tell me, why do they have to tilt it? Can't you just build it on an angle? Yeah, so, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll let you know. Look at George being mean to these kids. Uh. I see your GPA is a 4.0. You like that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> George is like, definitely not. Who's your favorite chess player? Nezra? He's just like George. This thing. Whoa, 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 what are you telling me for? You really had me going there. What do you want to do when you grow up? I've been telling people that I'd like to be an architect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 season one. Meanwhile. So there I am at Lorenzo's, loading up my slice at the Fixins bar. You see, this guy over at the pizza box is giving me the stink eye. <laughs> So I give him the crook eye back, you know? I'm taking on the entire Van Buren boys. Van Buren boys? Yeah. There's a street gang named after President Martin Van Buren? So I make a move to the door, you know, they block it. <gasps> so I lunge for the bathroom. I grab the knob. Occupy them. <laughs> and all of a sudden, they just stop. What? What happened? I'm only showing eight fingers. That's their secret sign. What? To Van Buren, he was the eighth president. Your brother was a former Van B boy. Oh! Oh, we've heard a lot about you. <laughs> it is so sweet of you to take her out. Is she coming off a bad breakup? No. See ya. <sighs> Jerry's like, what? Who am I dating? Much later. Hey, I think I may have found someone for this scholarship. Yeah? Finally, this kid walks in, Stephen Corn, a regular guy, likes sports, watches TV. Is he smart? He knows how to read. <laughs> That's knows good knows enough. With a little guidance, Stephen Corn is going to be everything I claim to be, only for real. <laughs> I had a dream last night that a hamburger was eating me. <laughs> Jerry. Damn, they've changed their cable stations again. Just when I finally <laughs> memorized them. Oh, Mr. Peterman, do you want to... To CBS? That's my damn preview channel. <laughs> Why is he making me laugh? What do you say you and I order ourselves a pie? Do you like Lorenzo's? <laughs> Wait a second. Is that the fork that fell on the floor? Are you using the fork that fell on the floor? The waitress gave me another one. I guess that's all right. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Kramer, George, this is Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're like, she's Ladies beautiful. Uh. This is Stephen Corrin. George, the qualifications for this scholarship were supposed to be largely academic. I'm sure we're all aware of the flaws and biases of standardized tests. These aren't standardized tests, these are his grades. Besides, so Stephen Corrin has the highest of aspirations. Uh, he's he like, you better work with my little George. I think I 
I'd really like to be a city planner. You know, the stupidest guy in my fraternity became an architect after he flunked out of dental school. <laughs> Congratulations, young you man. Very, very Susan good. would be very proud Look of you. George, ready to cry. Again. Uh, you know, if you like that one, I got more. <laughs> Kramer's like, I'll sell it all. How much would you take for the whole lot? My whole lot. Name your price, man. $1,500. That's it? My friend would consider a lane at your disposal. I like to work in the evenings. Oh, God. Now she got to be with his crazy ass. Uh. Oh, I'm waiting for the subway. It's not coming, so I decided to hoof it through the tunnel. All right. Well, now that's something. I slipped and fell in mud, ruining the very pants I was about to return. You were wearing the pants you were returning? What are you going to wear on the way back? Elaine, are you listening? I didn't even get there. <laughs> this man is so crazy. Hold up. Stays falling. Much, much later. I was betrayed. I was betrayed? <laughs> he was supposed to be like me? Oh, hi, Ellen. Yeah, I called the hotel. We're all set for the weekend. You're spending the weekend with Ellen? For a month. <laughs> Four days at a beautiful bed and breakfast. George, where are you going? I can't wait. What? You want to uh, No, 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 you go ahead. I got to get my thoughts together. She's a loser. What? Where is this coming from? She's great. Is it your career? Things are going to pick up. There's nothing wrong with my career. Why don't they like her? You know, this is like that Twilight Zone where the guy wakes up and he's the same and everybody else is different. <laughs> Why'd you take away my scholarship, Mr. Costanza? Um. These are my new friends, the Van Buren boys. <gasps> Came so disillusioned. Nice. I want my scholarship back so I can be a city planner. City planner. <laughs> you know, I had Bob Sacramento on the phone, and I suddenly realized that I. You can't tell that story now. What do you mean? You signed the release. Yeah. It's no longer your story. Not you. <laughs> Kramer didn't realize. <laughs> you didn't. Uh, the, the pants, uh, they, they, uh, they fit uh, well, and so I uh, decided I wasn't going to return them. It's getting late. Maybe we better get going. Go oh, down. no. Kramer's going to lose all his friends because he ain't got no stories. I got big trouble with the, with the Van Buren boys. I, I, I heard that you got on their good side. What'd you do? The Van the Buren boys, they never hassle their own kind. <laughs> Twenty-four hours later. Hey, have I told you about my bunions? Oh, you're gonna love this story. So I line up my cold cuts on the couch next to me, but as I'm stacking them up, they keep falling into my foot bath. Hey, Ew. This is awful. We don't want to hear about this. I'm running out of stories. Oh, I bought a bunch of bunion stories from Newman. But they all stink. <laughs> he bought stories from Newman. Set off down the train tunnel. But that's where the story takes a look at Elaine. She got a pencil in her hand. Oh, it's interesting. Don't you see that the train is bearing down on you? It's not interesting writing. How about if instead of diving from the train, you, uh, yeah, I don't know, you, you slip and, and fall in some mud and ruin your pants? <laughs> The very pants I was returning. <laughs> Elaine, that is interesting writing. Peterman here. Mr. Peterson, you got to sell me my stories back. You want to know something? No, no, Mr. Peterman, why don't we keep them as a, as a reference? You take back your tales, you vagabond. There you are, Elaine. <laughs> Fourth and create. When you get to that chapter about my romantic escapades, feel free to toss yourself into the mix. <laughs> Why would I do that? Later that same evening. Did you get my scholarship back? No. Colors, fellas, easy. Wouldn't want to beat up on one of your own. Then why don't you flash us the sign? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the sign. All right. You are really one of us. Let's see you take the wallet of the next guy who walks by. <laughs> much, much, much later. Oh, Jerry, your parking meter is about to expire. Don't get up. I got change. They're going to talk shit about her. She's awful. So, what do you think? Jerry, she is fantastic. I knew it. 
I'm not crazy. And so much personality. But it doesn't matter what we think. Do you like her? Oh, no. No, I'm not so sure. <laughs> Why do they never want to go out with who we want them to go out with? Bruh. All right, no more stalling. Right. <sighs> George, just run at this point. Oh, he better die. Hey, George! Give me your wallet, I'll give it back to you later. <laughs> Hiya, folks. Give me your wallet or I'll spill your guts right in on the <laughs> What did you say? Hurry up, old man! I'm an animal! Please, please, they're gonna hit me. What? They're gonna hit me! <laughs> run. Yep. <laughs> 